Vente. And we're back. Benny Belly's going down to the bottom end of the line. Yes. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, una. All clear, all clear, all clear. Benny Belly was down to the pin end, and uh, Martin Dolank and Matt Taggart are up here with uh, James Johnson and Elena Kalinina. Looks like someone decided to take a, uh, a long duck, Chip Wasson, possibly. He's headed out to the right-hand side. I think that's Chip. Super champ. Uh, heading out to the right-hand side. From what I remember last year in this easterly condition, the uh, right-hand side of the course was, uh, was pretty successful. I remember a couple of the top sailors last year actually... Uh, ducking right at the boat and shooting out there. Johnny did that in a couple races successfully. I believe Joey went out there a bunch of times as well. Um, and sometimes it worked, sometimes actually they got burned. So let's see what's happened. Let's see what happens with Chip. It looks like Martin Dolenk is also on his way out there with him. So local guys say over there on the right-hand side that the, uh, the breeze is, uh, is more east. And the sooner you can get over to the Bufador is uh, the sooner you get that strong easterly. Right now we're sailing in 060 breeze and um, it's about, we started out at the top mark we had 8 to 10 knots and down here at the bottom mark we've got about 10 to 12. I'm sorry, it was 10 to 12 up the top, 10 to 12 down here at the bottom. So um, we've got steady breeze across the course. We've been waiting for wind since 10 o'clock this morning. Currently it's 2.15 in the afternoon. Um, we had an early call sailing instruction amendment that um, moved the scheduled first warning uh, up two hours. Now we're uh, four hours behind uh, that start time from this morning. So everyone's been hanging out on shore very patiently. We came out here. We got this easterly earlier in the day, uh, just about 12.30, and set all the buoys, got out here right when we were about to start a race or actually we, yeah, we pulled the AP flag down ashore and um, got everybody or a couple people out here and everyone said this is sketchy um, so we put AP back up um, on the boat then put it back up ashore waited for about another hour and a half and now we are racing once again this is the first race in the gold fleet and um, it's looking pretty good this is a stack group of competitors it's a huge championship um, that we've got going um, a lot of international attendance. Pardon me while we take a couple people on board. We've got a couple dignitaries from the tourism board, photographers, um, the local tourism board. They're going to come on aboard. All that. So everyone's tacked on the port, port tack and uh, trucking on that port ley line. The mark is set at 1.0 nautical miles, and it doesn't seem to me that anyone has sailed all the way to the port ley line. It's possible, we have speculation that once you get out there on that left hand side that the northerly becomes stronger and um, and you get a little bit of a header on starboard, probably tack, sail right out of that um, new lift and start getting headed back again on that 060 breeze. So Chip and Martin have tacked back onto starboard up at that right hand side. Let's see how they fare on this cross. There is a fly surfer crossing a couple boats up there. That fly surfer up there along the ley line is looking money. A couple people tacked inside. There's an ozone and an F1. Can't tell who it is. Also, pardon me, dropped my phone, lost contact there. Uh, but boats are. He went in and um, I don't know what's going on with this phone. Hopefully it's working. 
he went in and grabbed his 18. He came out on his 15, I think, and then right before the race, jammed in, grabbed his 18. And uh, I think that's his new kite color. I'm not familiar with all the F1 color code, but um, got an ozone, an F1, an ozone, an F1, an elf, and an elf. That's what we're talking about here. We really enjoy the um, fact that development keeps getting pushed. Everyone is uh, bringing their A game from all these manufacturers. Between the kites, the new Mike's Lab foil, the new uh, proto wings that a lot of these guys are on, from all the manufacturers, Spots and Sword and Levitas. Um, it's pretty exciting to see. I know there's even an F1 proto out here and um, the Moses foils. Pretty cool to see all these, uh, all these brands pushing the sport. So here they come on Port Jive, trucking down to the gate. Let's see what happens. One little crash from that fly surfer that was out there in the front. So that's too bad. We lost someone down the line. My binoculars out, I can see that it's Nico Landauer and Maxime Nocher right on each other. Nico's got a little bit of an edge on Maxime. He's in the low lane. He's pushing up into Maxime's line. He's got a little bit more juice, a little bit more speed. He's coming in and it looks like he is going to uh, take a left-hand turn and head to the shore. Nico Landauer, then Maxime, then Ricardo Lachese, and a big group of guys Coming in here, it's uh, Axel Mazzella, and Matt Taggart, and Florian Trattel, Oliver Bridge, Alejandro Clement is taking a right-hand turn, jibing, Julian Kerner, and who is that on the orange board? Oh, that's Florian, Florian Gruber. Then the pack after that is Tony Vodasek, EJ, I can't say his last name. He's going to have to tell me that tonight. I always pronounce it wrong. Benny Billy. Adrian Geislinger. We have Adam Withington, John Von Tesmar, Chip Wasson, Martin Dolenk, Jacob Olivier, Martin... Martin... Uh, I'm sorry, Martin Dolenk is coming around now. Elena Kalinina on the blue elf. Really nice, like the new elf colors. They're looking really cool. Those Russians have an eye for design. Ellen is having to soak really low to get around this left hand turn, and boom, she goes. Huge group of boats going out to the right-hand side. Seems like uh, whatever they saw out of that last beat is compelling enough for them to go out and get it. Ah, uh, soaking. This is Roman. Designer, builder, owner of Elf Kites. Roman coming around the bottom mark. Good for him. Made it to the Gold Fleet. It was a tough qualifying series. For those of you who are just tuning into this event, uh, that yellow and green F1 is Maxime Nocher. So, for those of you just tuning into this event, um, we've had uh, varied conditions, I would say, call them varied. The first place rounding at the gate was Nico Landauer, and second place was uh, Maxime Nocher. Third was uh, Ricky. The black kite, I believe, is um, uh, a Florian Trattel. I believe the red one, it's either Florian or, or, um, or Ollie. There's black and, and there's blue. Sorry, I 
forgetting as they uh, have pounded back up wind and I can't see them anymore. That's totally fine. I'm just staying away. It's getting guesses and I'm pretty much having it. I thought Axel was in second place, but it looks like that is Maxime. Uh, I thought he was in Maxime. looks tall out there, I guess, on that 18 meter. Yeah, I'm a space cadet. Um, the two elves up there, one of them is uh, Florian Trattel and one of them is Axel. Roger that. Yeah, just, uh, I'll, I'll give you a little heads up as we get closer to that finish line, but it's so nice when you tell me who it is and then we say it and then everybody looks at us like we're geniuses. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I got it. Um, you might know that today um, with the gold fleet sailing, I'm, gonna, we're, I'm doing the live commentating um, for the for the uh, video, so um, I've got uh, got my got my chat on right now. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Then just uh, hold down the button and you can order it up however you'd like. But yeah, let us have it. Yeah, word up on that. Thank you. So yeah, going back to what I was saying, it's um, it's been a really tough event for a wind. Uh, the first day we battled in a uh, in a kind of up and down six, seven, eight knot deal, um, and barely squeezed off. Um, uh, I guess we got six races in that day before we had to bag it. So then we woke up yesterday morning, got the second set of the second se second round of the second set done um, for the Blues, and then we rolled into qualification uh, round two yesterday. We got in. Three races for blue and four races for yellow, so we had to drop the last yellow race um, off the scorecard and do the seating from that. And now we have this gold series um, racing going on. Yesterday we had a northerly, a nice northerly, at 15 to 17 knots. So um, it was good, fair racing. And the day before was good, fair racing too, albeit pretty, just kind of you know dicey and tough. Um, today's been, you know, we waited for breeze for four hours this morning. But we got it, and we've got this breeze coming out of about 050060. Of course, it's set at one nautical mile. We started this race at uh, 10 minutes. Wait, what time did we start this? I have 1410 down. That was a. Uh, yeah. Can't be right. I think we're at a 12 minute, yeah, about a 13 minute. Oh, 1410 was the start of my um, sequence, so. 14.15, start of the race, and we're at 13 minutes into the race with a target time of 14. Maxime Nocher coming into the gate right in front of Nico Landauer. Seems like Maxime got the best of him on that beat, and Nico Landauer rounding right behind him. Ricardo Lachese coming in on a little bit of a soak on starboard, but he is rocking into the gate full bore. Then on this black elf is, it is Ollie Bridge. Ollie Bridge is on that black elf. Right behind him is Axel Mazella. I forgot Axel is on the F1. And then we have Florian Trattel. So that's a pretty sweet top six. A lot of gamers in that group. We're looking forward to some more racing. We're going to do one more gold and then break into silver. Hopefully this breeze holds from 60 degrees for at least a couple more hours. This is your race director signing off until we get that next gold race started.